This is the MP30 Snoot Video Light from Dive Pro, a specialized tool designed for underwater macro photographers and videographers. I've had this one for a few months now and taken it out on plenty of mock dives around Koh Tao. I'm not sponsored by Dive Pro in any way. Now, long story short, I love it. But if you want the details, stay tuned. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. First off, we got the light itself. It comes with a standard ball mount adapter for attaching it to your camera rig. Next, we got the battery and the charger. The light uses a single standard 18650 battery, but that's enough to have it run on full power for 110 minutes according to the manufacturer. I've not tested if that holds true, but I can confirm that it seems to run forever as I took it out on multiple days of diving without needing to charge the battery in between. It comes with a USB charger for the battery, but it's not a great one. Dive Pro states that it takes roughly 6 hours to fully charge the 18650 battery, which is way too long. So I recommend getting yourself a better charger. I use this one from Nightcore and it can charge it from zero to full much quicker than six hours. Finally, it comes with a few other attachments, a wristband and some spare O-rings and a manual. The build quality is great and it's rated for depths up to 100 meters. The specs of the light itself is somewhat confusing. I'm so used to having manufacturers give the output of the lights in lumens, but for the MP30, Dive Pro only gives you the output in lux and it's rated at 210,000. And the calculations for it becomes a bit tricky due to the small output of the beam. But they also have a smaller light, which is the MP10, which has a 3 degree beam angle with a rated output of 1150 lumens. And we've seen it in action up against the MP30, which boosts a 5 degree beam angle. And it's simply not comparable. The MP30 is much, much brighter and it owes its brightness to its design. The light passes through multiple internal lenses that condenses it into its incredible output. So instead of having an external snood attachment over a standard video light, the process is done internally and it creates a far stronger output. And you might be fooled into thinking that it doesn't look that bright as I'm demonstrating it here. But that's because the lens elements are specifically built towards output on the water. As one of my regular muck bodies puts it, it's like a laser beam. Now how bright are we talking here? Well, I've comfortably used it at 18 meter depth on bright sunny days in good visibility and turn the background black. Which for those that don't know is one of the most popular snoot shooting techniques. I've even found myself in situations having to turn down the brightness of the light as it was clipping my subjects. Speaking of that, the light have three brightness modes with various burn time. First, we got high, which I mentioned will run for 110 minutes. Then we go to medium with 230 minutes and finally low with 1540 minutes. The battery efficiency in this light is in my opinion simply amazing. And to control it is super easy as it only has one button. Pressing it will turn it on and it starts in high outputs. Press it once and it cycles through the outputs, going medium, low and back up to high. You can also double press the button for SOS signaling. As mentioned, the shooting style of this light is often to highlight your subject and have the background turn dark or black. We use this technique because many macro critters, particularly in mucky habitats, are usually not surrounded by the most beautiful scenery. And the way that we use this technique is to have our lights on an arm like so and move the light as close to the subject as possible, while making sure it's out of frame and still having a wide enough beam to properly light up the subject. But then there's larger subjects that will often require a wider beam. No problem. I actually find myself quite often pulling the light back and giving myself a wider beam. Another advantage of this is that the light travels through more water, which softens it up, creating quite a beautiful soft light source. Now the way I mount my lights to the camera rig is with a couple of arms and clamps, giving myself enough flexibility to shoot various subjects. But I shoot mainly video and pretty much always with a tripod. Some of my friends that use this setup for photography have mentioned that it's better to use a flex arm to make micro adjustments while hand holding the rig. And that makes a lot of sense. So make sure you get set up correctly for your specific camera rig. 
Finally, I'm getting to the most amazing thing about this product, the price. It retails for $199, which considering what you get, I think is a steal. So long story short, this might be the best nude light on the market, and if you are into mock diving in particular, I can't recommend it enough. It's truly a joy to use, and I consider it my favorite new toy of 2021. All right, that's it. You should probably go watch this video next.